Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. We are continuing to watch Hurricane Sally just inching its way towards the coastline. Now through the early morning hours into the first part of the day, we've noticed a, a, a several flare-ups of deeper convection surrounding the center of the storm. So far, even though the hurricane reconnaissance plane has found the pressure ever so slightly lower, we haven't seen any stronger winds out of this, which is obviously very good news to see this uh, not strengthening any. Remember, at one point yesterday, the winds were at 100 miles an hour, but because it's moving so slowly, you start to get that upwelling where it's churning all the water in the Gulf of Mexico. So some of the cooler water starts to come to the surface. So you're losing some of that energy potential. That combined with some drier air that's been pulled in towards the center of the storm and some stronger westerly wind shear moving over. And all these factors tend to weaken the storm and limit its ability to get any stronger. So it's just gonna continue the very slowly inch its way towards the coastline. Starting to see some of these winds gusting to tropical storm force near the coastline, but what you're really noticing is just more and more of these rain bands working their way on shore. And as this inches its way towards the coast, that will be what we watch as we go through the rest of today and to tonight. And tomorrow, just more of these tropical rain bands coming on shore. And when you get inside of some of these, the rain can come down in a real, real hurry. And a lot of this has been working its way over the Western Panhandle. So we're gonna see a lot of widespread flooding, I think, from this event as we go through the next, say, 24 to 36 hours. So right now, winds are at 85 miles an hour. It is moving very, very slowly towards the coastline northwest at two miles an hour. So it makes landfall sometime late tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then works its way onto the north and eventually towards the northeast. But you look at that bullseye where you see that yellow shade, that is 10 to 20 inches of rain. So we're looking at the possibility that we could see 10 to 20 inches of rain. So we're approaching two feet of rain possibly with this and inside of some of those rain bands if we get some setting up over the same areas, we could see up to 30 inches of rain in some pockets. So you combine that with a storm surge of four to seven feet, which it creates its own flooding, but what it also does is it, is it doesn't allow for that water that's falling, the rain that's falling to drain into the rivers, to drain into the creeks and flow off the land and drain away, it all holds it in place. So we have that possibility that we could see some historic flooding with this event as we go through the next several days. And it could be widespread because you can see how large some of those rain bands are that are working their way on shore. Elsewhere in the tropics, they're just on fire right now. We have Hurricane Sally, we have Hurricane Paulette, we also have Tropical Storm Teddy and Vicky. So lots to talk about in the tropics, and we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.